What's up, everybody? Marty here, and welcome to another episode of Essentially Thumbcraft. Guys, it has been six months, I think, since I've done a video on this. I had a video in the buffer. <laughs> I had one just chilling there, waiting to be uploaded for the last six months. I never did it because I didn't like it. So I figured I would just do the work, put the work in, get it done, and uh, and show you guys. But then one thing led to another. Work got super busy. Life got super busy. And six months later, I had some chance. I had a chance this weekend to really sit down and get some gaming in. So what I did was this. All right. So we did this in the last episode, right? We got that all set up. I have since prettified it. <laughs> I made it all beautiful with the glass essentia tubes so down here what happens is i'll run you through the whole gambit um actually let's throw something in uh no that's not good let's grab a whole bunch of stuff that i have a plethora of and i'll grab a whole bunch of the feathers and stick that in there so there we go feathers oh let's get up there All right, so feathers go in here, right? Same as before. Let's take a whole bunch of them. Let's get them all in there. So feathers go in here. Breaks down into the alembics, right? It goes up. I've got to turn off right here so everything can hold in and, and not go into the system because I'll tell you why here in a second. Uh, everything's going through. You hear that noise? All right, the centrifuge is going. And before the centrifuge was up in the world tree, but now they are down here and I have gone a little bit crazy with them. So I've got nine of them sitting here <laughs> because everything that is in excess that will not fit into an Essentia jar will come down here, go over into this buffer, which is getting uh, buffed by the, uh, what you call it, the bellows. And then it all goes into that. So I think at most I've ever seen like five of these things going at once, but I've got nine of them just in case. I think five is like the max capacity. So after that happens, everything comes back up through this and it goes into the main line and it comes over into this one. All right. So as you can see, air is going into this. It's not going any further, even though that these are all full because before this would all just pumped back out over this way and gone into that. But now I've changed it. So we have all the air going into here. And then if any of the primal aspects come into here, it's already being filtered. So it'll come through here, hit this buffer, shoot down and fill up these jars, right? So I've got one set up for each one of these and it works pretty good. But if it's not a primal, it'll keep going around the path and try to get into some of these jars. So as you can see, this one's not full. The, the Sidereum, I think it's called, um, the greed one, and that one will end up going through here. And as you can see, we have stuff like, you know, Philatus Potentia. Every once in a while, we'll get some taint from the from the, the system upstairs, and that'll all go down. And then it just gets broken down and broken down and broken down until it can't be broken down anymore. And then it'll go into this. And then once it gets into this, then it all comes down to here to here and it sorts all through all these different flux scrubbing networks that I have set up here and once that's done <laughs> then the uh, the taint will come out of this and go down here and once it goes down there I don't think I had this set up last time as automatic um, it'll go down there and go through this come all the way back over see this one that one ties into that one that one ties into that one and then they all connect right here and get bumped dumped back into this essentia buffer and then it goes through the whole system so that's it that is the system and then i've got the mirrors here and the two mirrors one of them is set for my thaumatorium thaumatoriums this one does all the all the stuff. Does the native gold, silver, cinnabar, iron, copper. And there's a quartz one too, but we're five for five and usually I don't silk touch quartz anyway, so we don't get that. Um, and then this one is just kind of like whatever. Like if I put something in there, like if I need, I don't know, let's say I need aqua crystals. 
And it'll make that. You can see it's all pulling. I'm going into there. I use this quite often, actually. Like, um... Rotten flesh. I don't have that much rotten flesh, so we'll just leave that. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, took a little time and, and was able to update the system. And then up here, I think I did this too. Did a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of work on a few V batteries. So I've got 64 of these things sitting here, all with uh, 10. We'll hold 10 storage, which helps for this helps for these actually the stabilizers because as these are stabilizing things if I right click there you can see it's 0.9 gain if we took the one out did it 0.8 make it non-symmetrical 0.69 so let's put these things back and then let's check it again 0.9 so somebody commented and uh, they're like having trouble with the infusion uh, getting the stability up so basically what you want to do is make sure every little thing is symmetrical from one side to the other. So you can see I've got all of my pedestals on one side and all of those pedestals on that side. And then this is kind of like in the middle. So this side, the middle is gonna be the same, right? And then this side is exactly the same as this side. So you can also increase that too. If I was to make another platform under here, like maybe two down and put a floor here, then I could climb up there and do stuff and put more things symmetrical to uh, to help with the infusion stability. So there's a whole bunch of different ways. But the stabilizers, you can see like these, if I pulled one off there, and let's see, that one's not getting anything from anywhere. So we put that there. See how it's like dead? It's not working. So if we took that off and connected it to one of the stabilizers, that will work. Now also, if we took that one off, did that one see they're all connected here too so you you don't need like four of these stabilizers you only need necessarily like one or two probably to make it symmetrical but i chose to do it like that and that's how we got 0.9 on our gain for stability so so far i've done a few things i've done the pickaxe of the core I've done a whole bunch of enchants. As you can see, I've got Fortune 3 on Breaking 3 and Efficiency 4 on that. And then these things are all enchanted too. Um, well, it's Boots of the Traveler. I think I did that last time. But, you know, that's uh, that's what it is. But anyway, I think that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to and uh, let you know I'm still still kicking. So, uh, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name's Marty. Signing out. Peace.